Welcome! This is another Q&A video, and I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. Remember, if you have a question for me, head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum. And while you are on 3dgameman.com, you might as well enter the giveaway. You'll see it over there. It's at the top right-hand corner of the site. This Q&A video is about black screens and GPUs. Let's dive right in. This person is having a problem. Having problems with a GPU while gaming. Apparently, when this person starts gaming, you know, really GPU-intensive games, after a little while, the screen goes black, and then the system reboots. It sounds to me like you're having an overheating problem. It sounds like the video card is overheating, and then it's just shutting the system down. However, it could be... You know, it could be something else. So check that out first. Check, you know, and see how hot your GPU is actually getting. And to do that, you can download GPU Z or GPU Z, whatever you prefer, and you can go into the sensors tab and log to file to you know log to file the temperatures and other information about the video card, uh, you know, and see what's going on. You know, if it's heating up tremendously, you know, 90, 100 degrees C, that kind of stuff, then you're probably need to get the video card cool. And it's always a good idea to keep your video card as cool as possible. And that means, you know, providing and pushing enough air inside of your case, lots of cool air. So if you live in a hot environment, that's going to be a little bit difficult. You probably need water cooling. But in most cases, you know, in a room that's 20 to 23 degrees Celsius, usually if you have enough fans, it will cool it down. If you have a side panel that does not have any fans on it that can intake cool air inside of the case on top of the video card, remove the side panel, possibly get an external fan with the side panel removed, blow cool air inside of the case. Now, what else could it be? Could be the cable going to the monitor, could be the monitor itself. If you have multiple monitors connected, it could be something to do, you know, with the resolution on each display and sometimes if you start a game sometimes another monitor will go out of sync and it will black screen on you. I've had that happen to me. I have a number of displays right here and sometimes I lose one or the other uh, depending on what I'm doing. That doesn't happen all the time but sometimes it does happen. That's nothing to do with heat. So you know I think it's heat, but it could be something else. Also, if you're overclocking the video card, reduce it to default. If you're overclocking the system, maybe back it off a bit. If you did any tweaks, untweak them. Something else that you want to do is go into the Catalyst Control Center, which is basically the display properties for AMD video cards. While you're in there, go down to Performance, hit AMD Overdrive. When you're in there, go down and check Manual Fan Control. And what you want to do is adjust the fan speed manually up to 100%. The video card will be very loud, the fans at you know full speed, but you want to check that first because sometimes the automatic setting doesn't cut it. Now, speaking of drivers, you want to update to the latest driver. So go to AMD's website and download the latest driver and this would apply to any video card really make sure that you have the latest driver and I wouldn't recommend going with a beta driver because you know if you're diagnosing a problem well this might introduce more problems so what else could it be well more than likely as I mentioned it is a video card related issue possibly an overheating issue check that first after that Oh boy, good luck. <laughs> I mean, it could be a video card cable, it could be the monitor, it could be something inside of the system, like the power supply. Maybe it's not providing enough power. Maybe the power supply is defective. Maybe the lead or leads going to your video card from the power supply, maybe they're defective. Could be the system memory. It could be the motherboard. I mean, it could be so, so many things. But check, check the video card first and check you know, try to cool down the video card. Try to get it a bit cooler than it is currently. And I hope this helps you. Remember, if you have a question for me, head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum. Also keep in mind, the giveaway. Check it out.